Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today we are finally updating my everyday makeup drawer. It has been several months since I've updated my everyday makeup drawers, so we're pretty much starting with a blank slate. I do have a few products in the drawer that I will go over now. I have mascaras in here. These are all of my open mascaras. I do want to go through those and just make sure that there's none that are dried up and old that I need to get rid of. I have some tools here, tweezers pencil sharpener, little scissors, stuff like that. I have eye primers here. I have a P. Louise base and a MAC paint pot. And then over here I have my Ofra Signature Eyeshadow Palettes. This is just where I keep them. This is where they fit. And um, I keep a lot of my Ofra makeup on my desk, as you can see here. So those are just there, not necessarily part of the Everyday Makeup Drawer series, but you will see them there. I keep some of my favorite Ofra products in these plastic containers on top of my desk. I also have a bunch of lip products over here. I do have this makeup bag to go through. I recently went to Augusta and my mom and my brother participated in the half Iron Man. And so this is the bag that I packed. So we're gonna unpack this, see what's in here, and then we're gonna go over to my makeup collection and shop my stash to fill up up my everyday makeup drawers. If you guys are interested in seeing a fun vlog of the Iron Man experience, I will link it down below. I posted it on a separate YouTube channel because I had copyrighted music in it, but I highly recommend you guys go check it out. You can watch my mom and my brother finish the Half Iron Man, which is a triathlon for those who don't know. And yeah, it'll be linked down below if you are interested. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this bag now. I'm just going to dump the content out. So this is kind of an overview of what I brought with me. Some of my favorite products, some that were just kind of convenient for me to bring. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my blinged brushes and put those away. These Ofra products I will put away in their drawers. All of these belong in this little unit right here. I have a couple open mascaras that are gonna go in here. I really need to wash my brushes and sponges, so you'll probably see a brush cleaning video soon in case you guys are interested in how I do that. I've done videos in the past, but I know a lot of you guys like to just watch uh, stuff like that, just like I do. So um, everything else here, I don't even, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna put all of this stuff away and um, we, we will shop my stash and probably grab a lot of these products once again. I also have this basket full of Charlotte Tilbury products, so I'm gonna bring this over to my makeup collection as well. I plan on filming a video using full face of Charlotte Tilbury, but um, I also want to add some of these products to my everyday makeup drawer. So we will kind of pick through this basket as well. And we will go ahead and go through my mascaras. I'm gonna take all of these out, check them to see if they are dried up and just kind of go through them. And then I will show you the after. So here is the before. So I still have quite a few open mascaras that I am currently using. I did decide to get rid of three. So we have this brown mascara from ColourPop. It is definitely old, extremely old. So that's gonna go, the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline is actually really good, but again, it's old. And then my Too Faced one is just a little mini and that one's super dried up as well. So those three are going to be decluttered. We are gonna start with primers. I have two primer drawers. This is my high-end primer drawer and then I have a more affordable slash drugstore primer drawer. So I don't really recall how much my new organization in my everyday makeup drawers holds per item. So we're just going to grab a few of everything and see what we can make fit. So the first thing that I'm going to take from this drawer is this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. This is like a glowy primer. Um, I don't think this has a shade. I don't believe it does, but I have had this for quite some time and um, 
I really used to love this, so I want to bring this back out and try to get some use out of it. I love going in with a glowy primer or at least like mixing in something like this with my foundation. So that's the first product that we are pulling for my updated everyday makeup drawer. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at my drugstore primer drawer because I know there's a few things in here that I want to grab. The first one being this from Maybelline. This product right here is, it's, it's incredible. As you can see, I am almost done with this. I need to get a new one. This is the Perfector 4-in-1. This is the Instant Age Rewind Perfector. It's in the shade 01 Light. That's what I like to use. I just like rub this all over my face and then I put foundation on a beauty sponge and then I just kind of like mix it all together as I'm blending out my foundation. I love the way that it looks on my skin. It's great, it's very glowy, um, and I love it so much. We have a lot of glow going on, so I definitely want to find something that is maybe just like a hydrating primer. I'm kind of liking the look of this Wet n Wild primer right here. This one is the Impossible Primer. It is called the Impossible Primer. It's the one silicone free primer that does it all. So maybe we'll grab this one as well, leaving us with three primer products. For foundations, I'm definitely gonna grab the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. This has been my go-to for a really long time. I have two shades. I have 17.5N and 20N. I'm actually gonna only grab 17.5N because 20N is just a little bit too dark for me at the moment. So I'm gonna grab one of those and then put one of these away. I'm also thinking of grabbing this NARS foundation. I have it in the shade Santa Fe. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I think I'll grab that one. I also have a few foundations up in my concealer drawer, but I think that for now, uh, should I grab the Charlotte Tilbury one? <laughs> I'm really gravitated towards Charlotte Tilbury right now. Maybe I'll grab this as well. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have this in the shade three. So I think we'll grab this one as well. For concealer, I am going to grab the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I love this concealer. It's also a really good affordable option. So I'm going to grab that one. Um, I also might grab the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. I have two shades, but I think I'll just grab 11.5P. This is newer to my collection, but I did do a first impressions review on that if you guys are interested. And then finally, maybe one more. I kind of want to grab this pot concealer, the NARS one. Everyone always talks about how great this is for breakouts, like covering breakouts, which I've been experiencing a lot recently, so I will grab that one as well. And while we're here, I will grab the Magic Away Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Next up, we have powder, and I'm thinking of grabbing this hard candy powder. I used this, and I loved it. This is the Chilling Wonder Powder, so I think I will grab that as a loose powder and then maybe we'll grab a pressed powder i could go charlotte tilbury i could be predictable which i think i'm going to be this is in the shade i tried to tap this to focus on it because that's what i have to do for my camera this is in the shade two so um, i feel like shade one probably would match me better no this looks like it'll work so i'll grab that as well moving on to bronzer i am definitely grabbing this i'm obsessed with this this is from catrice this is the sun lover glow and i have this in the shade 010 sun kissed it is so good it's a baked bronzer and i love the formula like absolutely love it I also want to grab this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. This is in the shade Fair Medium. Um, I want to probably grab a lot of her wands to put in my everyday makeup drawer just because I've been like wanting to play with more like cream products recently so i'm going to add this to my everyday makeup drawer for blush again i have two drawers a high end and a more like drugstore affordable drawer so let's see i don't i don't know i don't know where to go from here i have a couple of these glowgasm beauty light wands we have pink gasm and peach gasm i could 
grab both of those, which I think I might do. So we're set on cream blush. This is going to be my everyday makeup drawer for October, so I'm trying to keep that in mind <laughs> as far as like colors and stuff go um, because I want to grab stuff like this from Nabla. This is so pretty. This is in the shade Truth. I am obsessed with this blush. It is absolutely stunning, but it's not really, it doesn't really give fall vibes, but I don't know that like... My blush has to give fall vibes, if you know what I mean. I think I'm also going to grab this one from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Fresco. And I guess that's it for now. No, I need one more. <laughs> um, maybe a Patrick Ta blush. This one is called She's Passionate, so we'll go with this one as well. Highlight is a bit of a difficult one. I do have two drawers. This one has all Ofra highlighters. I do have quite a few Ofra highlighters already on my desk, like some of my go-tos. And then this one has like other brands. So let's see. Um, I kind of want like a nice golden highlight, maybe like this Revlon one. This is really pretty. This is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. I'm gonna grab this one. And then maybe like a cream highlighter. And then maybe a cream highlighter like this Hourglass one. This is in the shade Champagne Flash. I feel like I should grab one more. We could go classic and get Soft and Gentle from MAC. This is like a super sparkly one. Let's do that. I'm also adding these Pillow Talk, um, I'm also adding these beauty light ones. I have Pillow Talk and Goldgasm. For setting spray, I'm definitely gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And then let's do a more affordable one, like one of these ColourPop ones, maybe. We'll do the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. This is from ColourPop. So we're set on mascara, but I do need to grab some brow products. This is what I had currently out. Um, I feel like I always use my Benefit, so maybe we'll put away the Benefit for now. And then for Charlotte Tilbury, I think this brow pencil is actually out. Yeah, so I'm out of the brow pencil, but I believe, I think I have a, a refill of it, maybe? Do I? Oh yeah, back here. This is the brow cheat that I'm using right now. Is that what this is? Brow cheat. Yes, this is a refill. So I'm going to refill this brow pencil and then I'll also keep the brow fix gel in the drawer. We will also grab this hourglass brow pencil and then we'll do a more affordable one like maybe this Morphe one. I have the Morphe brow pencil. This is the definer brow pencil in the shade Biscotti. It's really nice if you like a nice precise point. And then maybe one more brow gel. I could do, let's do this Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This is another open mascara. This is Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury, so I will add that. Um, I do have a little pile of lip products over here that we're gonna come back to, actually. I think I have everything picked out aside from lip products and eyeshadow palettes, so here is what everything is looking like. I'm gonna go see how this all fits in the drawer, and then we will finish off with lip products and eyeshadow palettes. So it looks like I need another bronzer and then a drugstore blush, potentially. So... For bronzer, I'm trying to think. I could go for Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. I think I might grab that. And then we need another, dr or a drugstore blush, I guess I should say, not another. Um, I feel like Milani is always good, but I want to use something that I don't normally use. So for lips, this is what I already had pulled out. My two favorite lipsticks are from MAC. We have Blankety on the left and I forget what the other one is called. Honey Love. I don't know how I forgot Honey Love. Blankety and Honey Love. And then we have this Kaja lip gloss in the shade Milk Tea. I love this lip gloss. You can see the dent in it that I've already made. It's so good. It's a really pretty like beigey pink gloss. I have two glosses from Charlotte Tilbury, Blondie and Ibiza, and then I have two lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, KKW and BITCH Perfect. So this is what I'm starting out with, but let's go ahead and look through my lip drawers to see what we can add to this. So I'm trying to keep fall in mind. I feel like 
I could grab maybe, oh, these buxom, one of these buxom glosses. These are in the shades Spiced Vanilla Latte and Pippa Pumpkin. I feel like uh, I will grab this one right here, the left one, which is called Pippa Pumpkin. I also like this Laura Mercier lip gloss. This is in the shade Cream or Creme Caramel. And then what is this one? This one is van Vanilla? 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 I don't know how you say that. Um, I might grab this one. I feel like... That's kind of fall vibes, um, and that's probably good for lip gloss for now. Then here we have lip balms. I don't think I really need to put any of those in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, here we have lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and like these little like lip pencil type things. I feel like I want to grab a liquid lipstick, maybe this Kylie one. This is in the shade One Wish. I also have this NARS one. I feel like I have a lot of like peachy ones though, so maybe I won't grab that one. Maybe I'll grab this Kylie one. This is in the shade 808 Kylie. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'll grab these two. So this is what we're adding, not anything crazy, just a couple lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. I have my lip liners over there already, so those are kind of separate. Um, so let's go ahead and bring these over there and then we will finish things off with eyeshadow palettes Which I am so excited for I actually have a little section open on the left drawer that I don't normally have open so Let's go through these little eye product type things and see what we can add over there This is the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize in star gold. This is like a really pretty let's see if I can open this with one hand a really pretty cream shadow so I think I'll add that I was also thinking of maybe adding one of these Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks I decided on intense moonlight I think is what this one is called this is just like one of the little mini ones and then I'm also grabbing two of these starlit powders from makeup forever these are so pretty these are in the shades, of, well I have a diamond powder and a starlit powder. I don't know what the shades are though. 101 and 13, I think those are the two shades. And then I also have these two Lawless, these are like bio glitters is what they're called. And I have them in the shades Champagne Dreams and Sparkling Rosé. And now for eyeshadow palettes, we will start off with ColourPop. Um, up here I have most of my ColourPop eyeshadows, so I'm trying to look at these and think about October. Like, what What am I going to want to use in October? I, I'm kind of thinking these taupe shadows look really nice, so this is the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. So I think I'll grab that one. We may come back and grab more, but, ooh, Going Coconuts. Let's look at Going Coconuts. This one is also so pretty, but I think we'll stick with that taupe for now. Next, we have the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette drawer, and my my camera battery is about to die. I was about to say foam battery. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to change that, and I will be right back. So I went ahead and picked a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, and I feel like you guys are going to come for me because... They're all going to look the same. That's what y'all are going to say, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, so the first palette that I picked, or the first one that I'm going to show you, is the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. This one is so pretty. Like, the lighting is making it kind of weird, but, like, just trust me. This palette is stunning, and I have never used it. So this is going to be the first palette on the list. Next we have the Lunar Beauty. I love this palette. This is the Nude Prism palette. I'm obsessed with it. This is like potentially my favorite palette of the year. It's so good. 10 out of 10. And you guys can use code PAGE for 10% off of Lunar Beauty. I love this palette. You guys need it if you need anything or if you get anything from Lunar Beauty, get this palette and the lip oils. Both of them are 10 out of 10. Um, over here I have both Patrick Ta palettes. I have still not used the newer one. This is like the first one up here, the like volume one or whatever they call it. It's the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. And then this one is like the more berry toned one. This is the Major Dimension 2. So we have both of those. This is that ColourPop one that I showed you. This is called That's Taupe. 
super cute palette. Then I have a couple mini Natasha Denona's. We have the mini nude palette. Is that what this is called? The mini nude palette. Super cute. Haven't used it yet. Then we have mini Zendo. I love this palette. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I just think it's phenomenal. So definitely had to add that to the drawer. This one is a classic. This is the Naked 3 palette. I recently was sent a new one from Urban Decay, which was so exciting. So um, I will be adding this to my everyday makeup drawer. I feel like it's going to be nice to have a fun little throwback moment. Then we have a newer palette. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the My Dream palette. Um, I did a first impressions review on this palette along with the face palette. So I'm going to add both of these so that we have some deeper tones, some fun little pops of color, and then I can get some more use out of this palette here. So both of those will be added. Then we have another ColourPop palette. This one is called, what is it called? This is the Lucky Penny palette, and it's super pretty. I love the copper tones in here, so we are going to add this one. And then finally, we have this one from Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. This is a great neutral palette. I love the top row of mattes and the bottom row of shimmers. 10 out of 10 so um we are going to organize those into my drawer and then i will show you guys the finished product all right guys here is the reveal of my updated everyday makeup drawers i kept everything pretty like aesthetically pleasing is that how you say that aesthetically pleasing yeah so um, over here I just have eyeshadow palettes and I have one face palette in here. I have a couple things kind of stacked on top of each other but uh, nothing too crazy. I can still see everything. So this is what I have for eyeshadow palettes. Again, my brows are right here. Everything else is the same. This is the side that changes the most. So over here we have primers and foundations. Then we have a setting spray, concealer, powder. I do have a powder underneath here. Over here I have bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. Then we have some miscellaneous eye products back here. Sometimes I have to like change the way that these are organized organized depending on the shape of the products that I pick for the month so we happen to have an extra little section here so normally I don't grab these little like single shadows and things like that but I'm actually excited to have done that this time and hopefully I'll use them more here I have just a few lip liners um I have the rest of my lip liners in this container here so I decided to put my Charlotte Tilbury wands up here uh, just because I had the space and then this is the rest of my lip liner collection um, so I just have those there but these are just a few lip liners that I thought I would use like Charlotte Tilbury, Patrick Ta, I have a Colourpop, Koki, and Sephora collection here I have the other lip products, so I have like the lip glosses, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks. So I'll give you one last overview. I love the way that it turned out. I love how everything fits in here. I just think that it is all so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I am very excited to be back on the everyday makeup drawer routine. I can't wait to do my makeup now. Um, we are still waiting for the hurricane to pass through. I think it's officially made landfall in southwest Florida. And I saw some videos and it looks really scary for the people down there. Hopefully by the time it gets to us, actually I'm sure by the time it gets to us it won't be so severe. But we're still kind of just like in like a waiting time period so um yeah it's kind of like weird so uh probably won't do my makeup until after the hurricane i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling but again i hope everyone stays safe if you're in florida um or any affected area it looks like it might even cross florida into the atlantic and kind of hit south carolina area at the moment the projections change like every six hours so uh we will see but i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has told me uh that they hope that i stay safe and 
I hope the same for everyone else. But that's going to be it for today's video. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.